Cuba Pity, founded in 1915 after opals were discovered, is an intriguing underground town in South Australia, situated 850 kilometers north of Adelaide, in the heart of the outback, where desert life meets extraordinary ingenuity. However, it was not always known by this name. Initially, the town was called Stuart Range, but in 1920, it was renamed Cobra Pity, which meaning is white man in a hole. This name refers to the network of underground mines and tunnels that crisscross the town, where residents live and work to escape the harsh desert climate. Did you know that Cobra Pity's underground lifestyle attracts visitors from around the globe, eager to see how people live, work, and play beneath the earth? Did you know that there are over 1,500 underground homes in Cobra Pity known locally as dugouts? These subterranean dwellings are built into the sandstone hillsides, providing natural insulation and protection from the harsh desert climate. The population of Cobra Pity is around 1,700 residents who live in these underground houses. These homes are carved directly into the rock, providing natural insulation that keeps the temperature inside cool and comfortable, even when the sun outside is blazing hot. Cobra Pity is home to residents from 45 different nationalities. This multicultural mix is reflected in the town's cuisine, festivals, and everyday life. Water, a precious commodity in this arid region, is pumped from an underground source and processed through a desalination plant, making it more expensive than in most parts of the world. Did you know that the average resident of Cobra Pity uses just 20 liters of water per day, compared to the Australian average of 100 liters? And then there's the matter of temperature. Did you know that Cuba Pity's underground homes maintain a constant temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius year-round? That's right, no matter how hot or cold it gets outside, the temperature inside these underground dwellings remains comfortable and consistent. The temperature above ground can reach up to 45 degrees Celsius in summer and drop to below. But that's not all. Cobra Pity is also home to a stunning underground church built in the 1960s. This beautiful place of worship is a testament to the town's resourcefulness and determination. And did you know that the church is even equipped with stunning stained glass windows made from opals? Speaking of opals, Cobra Pity is renowned as the opal capital of the world. Did you know that the town produces over $100 million worth of opals each year? Kerba Pedi is home to over 250,000 abandoned mine shafts, a testament to its long history of opal mining. These shafts are scattered throughout the area, and visitors are warned to be cautious when exploring the region. Despite its remote location, Kerba Pedi's underground world is a vibrant hub of activity. Did you know that the town has an underground bar where locals and visitors gather to socialize and escape the harsh desert heat? The underground bar, with its cool temperatures and relaxed atmosphere, is a popular spot for unwinding after a day of exploration. It's a place where the contrast between the bustling life underground and the desolate surface is most striking. Did you know that the town has a range of amenities, including a public library with over 10,000 books, or that it has an underground gym, complete with cardio equipment and free weights? And for those who love sports, there's even an underground tennis court and bowling alley. Living underground doesn't mean giving up the comforts of modern life. The dugouts in Cuba Pity are equipped with everything you'd expect in a regular house bedrooms, kitchens, living rooms, and of course, washrooms. Did you know that every underground home has its own washroom, fully equipped with running water and electricity? It's a testament to human ingenuity, turning a challenging environment into a livable space. Some homes are simple with just a few rooms while others are more elaborate with multiple levels and beautifully decorated interiors. Shopping in Cuba Pity is an adventure in itself. The town has several shops, many of which are underground where residents and visitors alike can buy everything from groceries to opal jewelry, a nod to the town's rich mining history. Did you know that Cobra Pity is home to a number of underground shops including a general store and even a few boutique stores selling locally crafted items? These shops offer a cool escape from the heat and a chance to find unique treasures that can't be found anywhere else. And did you know that the town's underground roads and tunnels stretch over 65 kilometers? The town has several underground attractions, including the Yulun Opal Mine and Museum, where visitors can learn about the history of opal mining and see what life is like underground. The museum also features a range of opal gemstones and fossils. Despite its remote location, 
Koba Pitti attracts thousands of tourists each year who are fascinated by its unique lifestyle and rich history. Did you know that Koba Pitti's otherworldly landscape has been used as the backdrop for several movies including the iconic Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome? The surreal, barren scenery of the area creates a setting that feels more like a distant planet than a part of Australia. What secrets does this unique environment hold, and how has it inspired filmmakers to capture its stark beauty? Healthcare is also a priority in Cuba Pity. The town has a hospital that provides essential medical services to its residents. Did you know that the Cuba Pity Hospital, though small, is fully equipped to handle emergencies and everyday health needs? It serves as a lifeline for the community, offering everything from general checkups to more serious treatments. The hospital is not underground, but its location in the heart of the town makes it accessible to everyone, ensuring that help is never too far away. Education is just as important in Kurbapiti as anywhere else, and the town has a school to ensure that its youngest residents receive a proper education. But did you know that the Kurbapiti area school caters to students from kindergarten through to year 12? all under one roof. The school isn't underground, but it's designed to cope with the harsh environment with shaded areas and air-conditioned classrooms that provide a safe learning environment for the kids.